Hello everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And I'm starting this video out here in uh, Reno, Nevada, outside of the Pioneer Theater Auditorium, built in 1967. It has a cool statue up front there of a Pioneer family. And this is actually the uh, auditorium right there. <laughs> it has that 60s vibe to it, huh? Yeah, we're just going to kind of take a walk around here and see what's going on. Take a look over there at the Warsaw County Courthouse. In all of its glory over there. It's a very cool looking building. But for this video, it's like we're going to walk back down this way actually. I just wanted to start the video right there at the uh, at that auditorium. We'll take a walk down here in Virginia. Virginia's kind of sort of the casino row. It's uh it's stripped so to speak. This cool old building right here. Now this is something that would have been in my hometown back in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. There were a couple of buildings that were kind of uh, kind of like this. I would say that building over there is probably the Basotic Lodge. They have a very nice building here in the Reno, huh? Yeah. Truckee River flowing along. I'm going to do a walk, well, as much, well, walk as much as I can, do a river walk thing here in a later video. You know, like I mentioned in the last video, I haven't been to Reno since 1997. So, I've seen some things that kind of jog my memory. Uh, a lot of the things, especially, you know, little restaurants and stuff, I have no recollection of. Some things are new. Some things are just kind of refurbished, you know. Thank you. 
Cool lucky little theater. I see this right across the way here would be my kind of store. Retro records, costumes, and antiques. This is called the Riverwalk District. There's their display. Jack Skeleton in there. It's a very cool looking store. A lot of antiques and stuff. Antiques and stuff you just can't live without. A former bar and it's closed down. The Virginian expect Robert Drury to uh, come riding up his horse before long, huh? Now, I, I am assuming, if I remember right, that this used to be a casino. Now it looks like they just converted it to a, uh, a hotel. You can see. You know, where it said casino and the things kind of all faded out. They've taken down the uh, the lighting and stuff. Can't go anywhere without seeing a CBD. Space release. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of those uh, kind of along the way, huh? Souvenir store, stacks of stacks of booze. I'm sure that one does pretty good. Huh? That other pawn shop. Hire their jewelry and load. He 
you saw what did another video that's super pod the cow diva Virginia Street Brew House. It's a nice second side. The front's kind of nondescript though. Entrance in back alley. Well, there you go. It's almost like a speakeasy, huh? Entrance in back alley. You never know about that, huh? Another little souvenir slash midi mart. Little street art. There's the back side of what would have been uh, Harris Casita. It's now just a long shuttered building. That they're gonna open that thing up. No, I don't think they ever will. Just the nugget. Lucky like Seven Gifts since 1982. Although the side looks kind of temporary, huh? <laughs> Series Casino. And then here we go, the, let's show you this little alleyway, the first thing. But the uh, iconic Reno, the biggest little city of the world side right there. I guess not as popular as the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas side. I don't see a lot of people lined up to take their photo in front of it, huh? Well, there was a lady over there took a picture of it, so. Cafe Whitney. It says, to enter, please use uh, hotel entrance. Enter through valet and turn left. But nobody wants to uh, let you enter through this way. You go through the alley, go through the casino, go through the valet. Nobody wants you to uh, just come through the front door. The Blarty Stone. It says this rare stone is from Blarty Castle in County Fork, Ireland. 
the only other stones ever permitted to leave this legendary island's landmark were used in this construction of this lucky forest exhibits at Cy Fitzgerald's Casino Hotel. In the best, in the best traditions of Blarty, rubbing the stone will surely bring you luck. There you go. Let's rub the stone. Let's hope for luck. Maybe lots of luck. Maybe health and happiness and luck. So there you go. So I guess I am assuming that uh, this used to be Fitzgerald's. I remember Fitzgerald's. So of course the building's a lot different now. But there you go. The El Dorado Hotel and Casino. At least it has withstood the test of time, huh? It's been here a long, long time. We look across the way there, we'll see the Palace Jewelry and Loan. They have the world's best prices right there. It's this palace jewelry alone. I know they have been there a long, long time also. I, uh, and it says it's the world's best prices. You know, they wouldn't let them put it on the side if it wasn't true. And we'll just kind of uh, take a few more minutes to just stroll down Virginia here. That's kind of that's kind of dis disappointed that the uh, there wasn't as many uh, many things it's like that are going on down here I was kind of hoping that maybe just maybe you know it would have had more of that small town vibe you know maybe Christmas decorations along the light poles or something like that you know Reno's kind of that so wants to give you that small town vibe feel but uh The Silver Legacy Resort and Casino right here. Of 
cross over to the inside the El Dorado there. It kind of goes through the area here and see what they got coming up maybe in the concert hall there. We got Aaron Lewis on uh, January 20th at Christmas on Ice. It says they are part of the uh, Caesar Sports Book. Love the old signage. That 1950s, 1960s vibe. Thunderbird Motel. It says parking is for motel guests totally. I see like one car in there. Now my first thought is, is it's still open, but the gates are open, so I am assuming they still are. And if you hadn't had enough yet, there is a premier jewelry load right there. I mean, Reno has more pod shops than most towns have 7-Elevens. Although, I tell most I will take that back almost. This pod shop says for lease. So, a pod shop that goes out of business, I'm not sure that's a good sign, huh? No, I'm not sure that's a good sign at all. And of course, the hit from a circus, circus clown. All right, everybody, I think it's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you joining me. Please leave a thumbs up. Helps our videos out a lot. And I will see everybody in the next video. I'll leave you one last look at the face of the clown. Bye-bye, everybody.